Hey all you fellow barbecuers out there, what's going on? Um, today, I'm going to be doing something that we've never done before. I'm going to smoke a, uh, looks like a couple boneless, skinless turkey breast. Actually turkey lobes, but these things weigh, I don't know, four, four and a half pounds a piece. So it's, uh, it's a lot of turkey, so we'll probably uh, slice this up for sandwiches and stuff and uh, probably give some away, free some, what have you. But I had these breasts, a buddy of mine gave to me. Uh, so we're going to smoke them today. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day here in southern Indiana, probably about 75 degrees. We're going to be using our uh, Bronco drum smoker today, our Oklahoma Joe's Bronco drum smoker. And we're going to put some uh, smoke on it using hickory wood. So what we have here uh, is the rub we're going to use. And this is a couple different things. The base of this is a rub that we use at the restaurant. It's called Desert Gold comes from Big Papa Smokers and this video in no way shape or form is sponsored by Big Papa Smokers and this is definitely not a plug for them but I absolutely love that rub it works well on chicken uh, and I'm going to assume on turkey as well it's the first time we've used it on turkey but I've added a few things to that and I don't really have a specific recipe um, but there's probably I'm gonna guess a cup maybe just under a cup of the desert gold and I put a pinch of garlic powder, a pinch of onion powder, a pinch of celery salt, a pinch of uh, chili powder, and a pinch of cayenne. And literally just a pinch. So, you know, we'll see how that works out. We're also going to inject these breasts today. And what we've got here is uh, chicken broth with some butter uh, melted down into it that uh, we, we made. Um, there's several different ways, methods that you can do when you put the rub on this. Uh, uh, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to put mayonnaise on it. We're not going to put mustard on it. We're not going to put any kind of oil on it. We don't have skin on it, so we don't have to worry about getting that skin crispy. So what, we're just going to inject it, and then we're going to put the rub on it, and then we're going to get it on the smoker. Probably going to run it about 275-ish degrees today, and I'm guessing just by the size of these things, it's going to take about two hours. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get these things injected. And we have our handy-dandy pistol injector here that we're going to use today. So we just get down in here and get us some of this fine liquid. I don't know how much this we're going to actually use, but we'll see. And this will keep the inside moist, keep it from drying out. And we're going to go to probably an internal temperature around 160, 165. So just want to poke that in there. And as you're squeezing the trigger, just kind of pull it back. Um, you can use whatever pattern you like. I'm not really doing anything fancy here, but just poking it. Poking and squeezing, man. Poking and squeezing. These things really are big, man. We're going to have turkey for days. <laughs> That's all right, though. That's what we eat. Anyway. And obviously, whatever's left in this jar, we'll just go ahead and trash because we just decontaminated it. I mean, when you make chicken broth, you can make your stuff's cheap anyway. So, I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could use some of that and make make some gravy out of it, and you know, have you some turkey manhattans if you want. But not my cup of tea, so I'm not doing it. Tell you, you couldn't ask for a better day to fire up the smoker I and mean, it's absolutely gorgeous outside you got just enough wind uh, nice cool breeze uh, wiped out cleaned up the truck today got it all washed and cleaned up so I'll get to take that out tonight and get it all dirty again Now we didn't do any kind of uh, trimming or anything on these things because like I said they were boneless and skinless. We just basically rinsed them off, 
pat dried them and, and here they are there's a couple you know some of this kind of stuff we cut off but nothing nothing major uh, just right out of the gate ready to go all right so this should do it i'm hoping anyway these things are gonna be nice and plumpy juicy almost afraid to push them I'll probably get sprayed through these holes all righty so there we have it our injected brass so now we're going to like i said get them seasoned we're going to season both sides you know since they are boneless skinless so get this bad boy flipped over you see all that season of the rub sitting here in this tray and then in my opinion there's no such thing as over seasoning over flavoring um, so you know go for it when you rub down your meat kind of sounds pretty perverted rubbing your meat but whatever all right this one you can just see the size and the massiveness of these things man tell you though this rub smells amazing I will say that I couldn't tell you what's in that desert gold I know there's salt in there probably a little bit of sugar a little bit of garlic but looks like some sesame seeds but it really is good so if you ever get a chance to get it uh, get a hold of any of it I highly recommend you do so probably gonna run out before we get both these things seasoned Looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood, as they say. So there you have it, man. This is it. All seasoned up, ready to go. Probably let these sit here for about five minutes and kind of let that, the salts in this thing, this rub work its magic. But there you have it. So we're going to go outside, get the smoker going. Like I said, we're going to run this about 275-ish. Let it roll. Uh, we'll check on them in about an hour and see where they're at and then uh, go from there. But like I said, we're looking for an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Once we get there, we'll bring them off, bring them back in the house, probably let them rest for a few minutes, and then uh, we'll bring you back and we'll cut them open and uh, see uh, just what's going on inside. So everybody stay tuned. We'll see you in about an hour. There we have it, guys. We're just over an hour into the cook, and we're at about 120 degrees or so, but you can see it is really coming along very, very nice. You can see those white juices starting to come out of the breast there, so we probably got about another hour, maybe 45 minutes, till we hit our uh, temperature of 165 degrees, and then we'll pull them off and take them in, let them rest for a few minutes, and then cut them up, see where we're at. But uh, right now I'm going to get this lid closed so uh, it can preserve some of this heat. And stay tuned. We'll see you in about an hour. All right, guys. Here you have it. Two beautifully smoked uh, turkey lobes. Turkey breast. Boneless, skinless turkey breast. Whatever you want to call it. Um, total cook time took longer than I thought. Right around two hours or so. Maybe two hours and 40 minutes. But uh, we're at 165 internal temperature. And now what we want to do. Well, these things have been sitting here for 10 minutes or so resting so now what we want to do is we want to cut into it and see what's going on so the moment we've all been waiting for oh boy just like cutting butter man just like cutting butter oh yeah see that moisture in there look how moist that is oh my god i don't know if we can squeeze i don't really want to do that i don't like doing that because it squeezes the moisture out but you can kind of see it in there that dude is moist so, let's go eat at these. Oh yeah, look, it's covered like butter. Crazy, crazy. All right. Oh yeah, nice and moist. Here we go. Oh yeah. Very moist. Man, mm, that rub, amazing. I've had that desert gold on chicken a billion times, never on turkey. But I'm telling you, it's just as good on turkey as it is on chicken. Just enough heat from that cayenne pepper and that chili pepper um, doesn't overwhelm you at all. It doesn't make you want to run for some liquid. Uh, just enough to let you know that it's fighting back just a little bit. Uh, perfect balance of, uh, 
of seasoning, salt, pepper, everything. So they're really happy with the way that came out. Um, so what we'll do next is we'll slice this up and uh, freeze it, have turkey sandwiches, turkey manhattans. I mean, we'll be eating turkey for a month now. But uh, real happy with the way it came out. Uh, just to kind of recap what we did, uh, smoke these two things. These are about four and a half pounds. Uh, inject them with a mixed, uh, mixture of melted butter and uh, chicken broth. And then we uh, made up our own seasoning using that desert gold and then a few things I mentioned earlier that uh, we put in it. And then we put them on the smoker, ran smoker around 275 degrees, the Oklahoma Joe's drum smoker. And it took a little bit over two hours, two and a half hours, I believe, two hours and 40 minutes probably to be exact. Let them sit here and rest. Uh, the internal temperature is 165 degrees. And then we uh, used hickory wood for the smoke. And it's got a great, great smoke flavor. It's not overpowering. So there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. That helps the uh, YouTube algorithm get this out to everybody so they don't miss out on any of these wonderful videos. Make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that we post. So there you have it. Um, we're going to go have us a little bit of turkey. And uh, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon.